Justin Sager, welcome tonight. I'll tell you what, Justin, you did a great job. Now, this is an old quartet song, and some of you have maybe have never heard this song, and some of you maybe have. But this is an old song that came through the revival movements down south. And I know this is part of a revival for Rev It Up, and we're so glad you made Glory Way a part of this event. So if you don't mind, we're going to do one of those old revival songs for you right now. It says, Heaven's Jubilee. Here we go. Let's do it, boy. Some let more we shall see Jesus in the air. Crying after you and me, joy is out to share. What we trust in there will be with the saints of rise. Yeah, oh. i 
solo career going and we borrowed him he's been with us now for about three months and we have done everything we can possibly think of except for find him a wife that's the only thing <laughs> to keep him around with us 25 years old does a great job would you make mr brian langley welcome tonight i'll tell you brian um, when brian came on we sent him about 70 songs that he had to learn uh, and he started learning those things. We had just finished a brand new album. And this song we put on a brand new album. And we sang this song for the very first time up in Bradford, Pennsylvania. Has anybody ever been to... Oh, okay. There's a couple of you. Wow. These guys get around. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you just stay in one little spot, you know. But I know you get around. Motorcycles. What's that? Motorcycles. Motorcycles. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, yeah, Bradford, PA, we sang up there. And it was November, November of last year, and uh, it was snowing like crazy. We came in through Ohio. They took us up north on the GPS, and they took us up north. We came in on this highway, and I'm not kidding you, there must have been 13 cars in ditches and on the side of the highway and police and ambulance. I mean, it was awful. And Justin was driving, and I said, I said, buddy, just take your time. I said, I said it, it was a Saturday night, and I said, I, there's not going to be anybody at that church tonight as bad as this weather is. I said, don't worry about it. I said, just take your time. And we half expected the pastor to call us and, you know, tell us that the service had been canceled. I mean, it was that bad. And we rolled in that night, and sure enough, there was a church full of people sitting there waiting on us to sing. And we were about a half hour late, and they were already in there in their seats, and they were singing. They had the piano player up, and they were just expecting to have a great time in the house of the Lord. They didn't worry about that snow. And I got up and I apologized. I said, please forgive us. I said, we got caught in that bad snowstorm. And there was an old lady in the back row, and she must have been 90. She jumped up and said, oh, honey, don't worry. It snows up here till July. And I said, oh, okay, well, whatever. So anyways, we went and had a great time. And we sang this song for the very first time that night. And there was a young lady right in the front row, nine years old, she had been battling cancer since she was 18 months years of age. 18 months. They found a brain tumor. Three years of remission she had been in. And, and she sat there and just smiled the whole time. We had no, I had no idea about this young lady's condition. When we sang this song the very first night that night. We went back to the table. She came back here. She took pictures. You know, she, you would have thought the Oak Ridge boys were there that night. I mean, she was signed, having us sign autographs and just taking pictures. Got us our picture on Facebook. I mean, all these things. And she said, do you have that song about the kids on an album? And we said, honey, no, we don't. That's the first time we ever sang it. And she looked at us and she said, well, you need to sing it and you need to put it on an album. And that's exactly what we've done. We haven't stopped singing this song from that night on. And it's, I, I love this song. How many parents are here tonight? I believe this song is going to bless you. I have a five-year-old little boy, and I, it takes everything I got to make it through this song without busting out in tears. Listen as Brian sings for you. Thank God for kids. Listen. Come on, have Try. 
came through in 1933. Was anybody around in 1933? Anybody? <laughs> hey man, don't, hey, don't be shy about that. I, I mean, we sang in Indiana a couple a couple months ago and, and I, I asked that question and somebody jumped up, an, an older gentleman raised his hand and, and he said, he raised both hands and he was just swinging them and he said, brother, when you get my age, you're proud to tell everybody how old you are. That's what he said. <laughs> we laughed. We thought that was great. But this song came through in 1933. And, uh, I mean, everybody, it just took the world by storm. Once again, another revival song. Amazing, amazing the great songs that came through during revival times when the Holy Spirit was just moving. And I'll tell you, I could tell, man, we were going to have a good time when we came in here this, morning, this afternoon. I went downstairs and we were changing. I heard you guys singing. And I knew we were going to have a good time in here until about midnight tonight singing gospel music. Amen. 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 How many would stick around until about midnight listening to gospel music? Would you really? Hey, I'll tell you what. You go ahead and do that. Just lock up when you're done. We'll be already home, all right? You all right? Go ahead and do that. Anyways, this song came through in 1933. It's an old song. I know everybody in here is going to know it. Why don't you stand up, put your hands together, help us sing I'll Fly Away. Here we go.
seven years. We traveled together for nearly a year and a half going strong right now um, together. Last year, him and I did 200 dates together. Wow. Concerts. And we sang at cowboy churches. This is our first. We sang at restaurants, barns. What else did we do? Hospitals? Yeah, we did a hospital. We sure did. Hospital, yeah. And uh, our friend was in there. Oh, we, come on. And we were going to go in there and, and sing lift some courses and stuff and try to lift them up while they're down and out. And we were walking down through that hospital and down at the end, the nurse was with us too, she was walking with us yeah. to take us to the room. Down at the end was this horrible looking machine. I mean, it had wires and hoses and all kinds of things coming out of it. And my good buddy here, Jim, said, you know, nurse, I'd hate to be plugged up to that. And she said, sir, that is a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> What are you looking at me for? <laughs> this is the first time we've ever sang for a bikers event, and I am thankful for that. Yeah. We did sing it at a nursing home, yeah. We sing at Mentor, Ohio. Mentor, Ohio, up on the lake. Beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful nursing home. 
I mean, if I was going to stay in a nursing home, that's the one I'd want to be in. Well, you know, we sang in a nursing home. Yeah. And uh, we sang about four or five songs. And this little lady sitting about where Pastor is right there, Pastor Hughes. And she took a liking to this fellow right here. I mean, she loved everything he was doing. He could do no wrong. And uh, he went down there and talked to her at the end of the service. And he said, ma'am, I know you're really enjoying the service. And she said, why, well, yes, sonny, I was really enjoying the service. But you know what, Jimmy? What's that, ma'am? You remind me of my third husband. <laughs> and Jimmy, he's very nosy. He's got to know everything. I mean, everything. Got to know every detail. I mean, I, it's ridiculous. So he pushed it a little further and he said, Ma'am, how many times have you been married? She said, Twice. <laughs> <laughs> so they're getting married here in the next few weeks. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't encourage me. That's <laughs> not funny. Anyways. He has, owned, he has owned and managed this group for 14 years. And, and if any of you have any, ever tried to do any sort of a ministry, which I know you are doing currently right now, I'm sure to do anything for 14 years can be a tough task. There's always bumps in the road. No pun intended for you motorcycle riders, but there's always bumps in the road. And this guy's faithfulness and dedication to the Lord is second to none. And I mean that with all my heart. For 14 years... He's owned and managed this group. He's made sure all the equipment's running, make sure the van's running properly, and make sure that there's three guys with him that are happy or at least pretending like they're happy, one or the other. But he's done a wonderful job. He's got a beautiful wife at home in Mansfield, Ohio. How many ever heard of Mansfield, Ohio? Okay. All right, a little closer to home. Mansfield, Ohio's got a beautiful wife named Angie and three of the most precious little girls you'll ever see. Eight years old. Six years old and two years old. All right? Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I have a, a five, like I said earlier, I, had a five, I have a five-year-old little boy, and he's all boy. He's just wild, and those girls are so sweet. Let me just get something straight here real quick. That boy is not allowed to my house at all. Period. <laughs> You, you think I'm kidding? He's not. You know, come to think of it, I think you come over a little too much, too. <laughs> He's five, but eight years old, six years old, and two years old, and they are just precious. You know, Brian sang Thank God for Kids, and he did a wonderful, wonderful job on that song. Love to hear him sing that song. I was just sitting back here listening, and you know what I was thinking, though? While he was singing, singing that song. We're in trouble if you're thinking. Yeah, while, while he was singing that, the only thing I could think of was... Thank God those little girls look like their mommy. That's the only thing. Anyways, he makes his home in Mansfield, owns and manages this group, Gloryway Quartet, that you see. Would you make Mr. Justin Crank welcome tonight in Mount Vernon? Justin, won't you sing that song? We. We sang this song Sunday night, and it was a special event for us because very seldom do we ever get to sing in our home area. I mean, we're out. Uh, two weeks ago, we were over in Pennsylvania. And, I mean, we're in Indiana, Wisconsin, uh, Milwaukee, uh, Illinois. I mean, we just, within the last couple weeks, that's that was our journey. And on Sunday night, we were in Mansfield, Ohio, and we got to sing at Justin's home church. Well, that night, there was a very special lady in, uh, in the audience that night, and her name is Barbara Spencer, and she travels and sings with the Spencers, a group out of Mansfield, Shelby, Ohio, who's been on the road for years and years. I think going on 60 years now, they have traveled and sang. Well, about a year ago, she brought us this song, and when I heard it the very first time, it just blew my socks off. And she said, guys, you need to sing this song. She said, there was only one other group that recorded this song, but you guys need to record it. And we said, well, who was the group that recorded it? And she said, a group called the Cathedral Quartet in Stone, <laughs> Ohio. And I said, okay, wow. So we listened to this song the very first time. I remember where we were. I remember the, the day. I can tell you exactly the place. And it takes a special song to do that, to captivate my heart. And this song grabbed me like a song that it just took me away. And it reminded me of this verse in Scripture. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. It says this. Therefore... We have peace. Say that word with me. Peace, peace. With God. Through faith. Brother Dick. Through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have peace with God. 
No matter what we're facing, no matter how hard life seems, we can lay our head down at night and say, Lord, even though things didn't go the way I wanted them to today, I still have peace with you knowing I can lay my head down at night and rest. Amen. Barbara Spencer wrote this song and she got to hear us sing it for the first time last Sunday night. It just blessed us to be uh, part of her service with her and we want to sing it for you tonight. Justin does a great job on it. It says, it's so peaceful in the arms of Jesus. Listen. This whole world is falling and misery. Sometimes Satan stares and lashes you have in me. But with Jesus on my side, I'm satisfied. It's so peaceful in the arms of my Lord. It's so peaceful in the arms of my Lord. Oh. 
trusting in my Savior's love, doing what I can for Him and holding up. I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready, ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready for the gates of hell. Come on, be me. I'm ready to try. Watch me. to earth. 
is victory for the Christian. But who walks the narrow way? There has been a prize appointed for the soul who does not stray. Oh, I want to live for Jesus and be all that I should be so I can rest with Him forever. Let me turn.